in this lecture we will discuss about pattern detector or sequence detector mini project design and verification with Verilog so the sequence or pattern detector is nothing but a state mission so you know there are four kinds of state missions Moore overlap non overlap and Miele overlap and non overlap so in this lecture I will design and verify more a non overlap type pattern detector so first uh, I will uh, explain you design code then test bench code then I will uh, run the code and uh, explain the executed output okay so in further lectures I will explain about uh, more a overlap and uh, mele non overlap and uh, overlap also in this uh, lecture particularly we will design and verify more a non overlap type pattern detector <coughs> so here I am taking data input 4 bit data input as example because uh, why I am taking 4 bit particularly whatever the pattern I explained in the digital concept with respect to more a non overlap state diagram same pattern I am taking 1001 so before doing this design code you must have this uh, state diagram I already explain, explained the uh, state diagram okay once I will briefly revise see so this is my 1001 pattern how many bits in the pattern 4 bits so how many states will come in the more a non overlap n plus 1 total 5 states so one is the reset state and uh, next state is 1 next state is 10 next state is 100 next state is 1001 total 5 states list here and I rounded with circles each 5 states ok so initially I am in the reset now I am looking for this one when I get one I will go to S2 when I get 0 there is no 0 I will be in the reset let us assume I got one so I will be at S2 so now I am looking for 0 means 10 10 means 3 so I will go to state 3 if I get second bit 0 if I don't get second bit 0 what it, what it will become 1 1 1 1 means there is no 1 1 state if I remove left side 1 1 will remain so I will be in the S2 if I get second bit 1 let us assume I got second bit 0 ok so I will be I will be in the S3 so now I am looking for this uh, 0 ok third bit 0 so if I get 0 I will go to S4 because S4 is 100 if I get a third bit as 1 it will become 101 there is no 101 so I will remove left side 1 then it will become 0 1 there is no 0 1 I will remove 0 it will become 1 so I will I will come back to S2 if I get third bit also 1 let us assume I got third bit 0 so so now I am in S4 I am looking for this last bit 1 right side 1 if I get I will go to S5 so pattern detected if I get last bit 0 it will become 1 triple 0 there is no 1 triple 0 so I will remove uh, 1 it will become triple 0 there is no triple 0 I will remove 0 there is no double 0 then I will remove 0 there is single 0 there is no 0 so I will go to reset if I get last bit 0 ok suppose if I get last bit 1 I will be in the S5 now I am looking for second pattern second uh, detection so second in the second detection the first bit again this one if I get 1 I will go to S2 if I get 0 again I will go to reset so this is the state diagram so this state diagram you must have before the coding ok now we will code I explained this state diagram in digital very detailedly ok go through that to lecture if you don't understand here I explained briefly ok because now we are doing coding not the concept ok so now this is the design code so it's looking like very huge see but don't worry I will explain very simple it's very easy ok right I will tell that logic why it is easy ok so now 
this uh, explanation comments is for your understanding okay right <coughs> so initially this design code start with module and end with end module you know that everyone mm? end module okay now i given my module name as more a non overlap then i listed the ports so what are the ports this is a sequential circuit state machine na? and that also synchronous sequential circuit so i need clock i need reset and uh, in the pattern there are bits so that that is pattern bits are nothing but data input so there is a data nothing but data is nothing but pattern bits okay so some uh, bits are coming in those bits i i am looking for my pattern 1001 okay right and whenever pattern detected uh, pattern detected or not detected whenever it is detected so it need to mention na? so for the telling whenever pattern detected to get one at the pattern output we need some variable na? so this is the pattern detected variable output variable okay so here clock reset to data or inputs pattern detector is output and uh, there is another variable i given valid so this valid is necessary because uh, if bits are coming then i can look for my pattern in that bits my pattern is there or not but if no bits coming what is the meaning of detection so this value is telling yes bits are coming so you can detect so this valid indicates whenever valid one it indicating bits are coming presence of bits valid is zero means no bits coming if no bits coming what will you detect okay so this valid is to tell whether bits coming or not existed or not and this data is telling in those bits that bit whether it is zero or one that is telling by data okay i hope you understood okay so this valid also input okay now this is the port declaration all inputs are scalars so even output also scalar so this uh, output uh, variable pattern detected this variable i used in the procedural block see left hand side here so i have to mention this as rich okay and here i used parameter <coughs> okay so here i will explain about parameter in this example what is the necessity so two necessities one is uh, in coding generally we need to avoid hard coded values okay suppose if i write 001 like that that is hard coded values instead of this 001 i can write s underscore r so this end s underscore r when i write s underscore r it will directly take 001 so because of this uh, using this i i am avoiding this writing hard coded values if i don't use this i have to write this hard coded value so to avoid hard coded value we are using parameter this is one purpose and main one more purpose is reusability this parameter uh, one more purpose is reusability how it reuse reusable i will tell <coughs> suppose here these are the state encoded values i will tell about the state encoded values anyhow now these are state encoded values now these state encoded values i wrote in stride binary okay 2 power 0 2 power 1 stride binary we can write these in uh, one hot also we can write these in uh, gray also generally in state missions we use one hot to avoid uh, sequential hazards but here i used stride binary because uh, this is a basic code to a uh, you need to feel very simple now so for the sake of simplicity i use this one hot means it contain more bits okay again you feel it's like a new concept that's why initially i introduced uh, the stride binary encoding for the states okay right so here if i use parameter now i use the stride binary if some other time if i want to use gray or one hot i can simply replace these values na so same code i can reuse for uh, one hot encoding and gray encoding also na so reusable i will take this code only i will replace this encoded states 
so in in that sense reusable and one more reusable i will tell suppose now i take in my pattern 1001 later i will take another pattern 4 bit same 4 bit pattern 1010 for the same 4 bit pattern also i can replace uh, these values i will i can use this same code na i will take the same code i will just uh, replace this uh, state state values so that i can reuse so in that sense uh, this uh, parameter is useful okay all right of course i will do some uh, lectures on separately on parameter okay now so port declaration completed now parameter declaration okay so in this uh, parameter declaration what we have to do how many parameters we need to take how many states will come that many parameters so how many states here our pattern is 4 bit and it is more in non overlap so we need n plus 1 five states will come in the state diagram i have shown na so five states means five parameters will come so what is the syntax of parameter we we need to use keyword parameters then space parameter name equal to parameter encoded value semicolon so this para this is called parameter value okay this is parameter name this is the parameter keyword this is the syntax so what is my first state s underscore r what is my second state s underscore one what is my third state s underscore one zero fourth state s underscore one double zero fifth state s underscore one double zero one these all states uh, i listed in the state diagram right see here these states only that's why i told before coding you should know the state diagram you should have the state diagram okay now so these states nothing but parameter names i wrote in capital letter to highlight them even you write in small letters code will execute no issue and what to do how to do this encoding so how many states five states suppose let us take there are five addresses or five locations for five locations to give addresses five addresses how many bits we need in each address suppose if i take 2 bit with 2 bits i can is, uh, encode only four addresses right or i can encode only four states so more than four states we need minimum three bits so that's why to encode these five states i need three bit encoding i take in binary so 001 010 011 110 111 so with the 3 bit you will get eight possibilities out of eight possibilities you need only five possibilities because of five states so out of eight possibilities we can use any possibility here first i used 001 010 011 then i am using last two possibilities you can use any one na? i told but you have to use different possibilities i used okay now i hope you understood how to write this parameter okay now then later this is called variable declaration this is port declaration parameter declaration this is variable declaration <coughs> okay even parameters before variable also you can keep this uh, before port also you can keep or this parameter after variable also you can keep okay this order no matter but you should do all declarations that's important <coughs> okay here parameter is not compulsory i told now what is the benefit to reusability avoiding hard coded without this parameter also you can do this code but you need to struggle more okay all right or for when you want to do some other codes you cannot uh, reuse you need to do again starting but if you have this uh, parameter you can take this code and you can edit it easily okay all right according to your requirement <coughs> okay now variable declaration what are the variables present state next states so in this state diagram suppose now i am here when i am here what i say this present state what i say this next state but when i go here this next state become the present state so there are present state and next state uh, terms in our uh, design functionality so we need to use that terms okay so i need to use this term so when i use that uh, variables i need to tell the variable type na otherwise error will come so i am using this variables in no, my procedural block in the statement left hand side see present state next state so these should be rich data type that is the reason why we are using rich and why it is 3 bit so this states how many bits this state encoding see 3 bit so that is the size 
okay right that's why I take in 0 to 2 or 2 down to 0 okay now module port list port declaration parameter declaration variable declaration all completed now we have to do design functionality coding how we do design functionality coding with the procedural block that also with the always that also with the sensitivity list so this uh, circuit always work with uh, respect to this uh, next state okay uh, with respect to what is that clockage passage clockage so this is a synchronous sequential circuit so this is the functionality this what is this block i will tell this is the functionality block okay look at this so the circuit always work with the clockage that also i want to work with the pause to clockage and i am using reset but i want to make it synchronous reset that's why i have not included okay right this is the functionality block so what is this block this block is you know when i go to next state next state become should become the present state na? otherwise there, there should not be a continuation in the state mission right so when i go to next state my next state should become present state that i am telling here so for that to tell this i use to do procedural block but this nature is not a sequential that's why i wrote in outside this uh, block because this whatever i coded in this block that is all sequential in nature but this nature is not sequential that's why in separate procedural block i coded and that also this happen at the rate of next state so always at the rate of next state here there is no passage journey so this is not sequential this is okay uh, remember that this is not sequential in nature okay so because there is no clockage passage journey gauge okay right always at the rate of next state begin and begin and not necessary okay as per syntax i wrote even no begin and it will work so next state should become present state okay so in some other uh, lecture i will tell <coughs> about this uh, sensitivity list when it will become sequential when it is become combinational when it is become synchronous sequential when it is become asynchronous so all so all these things i will tell okay all right so now functional decoding so what is the functionality the state diagram is nothing but the functionality whatever happening here this we we have to encode it there that's it okay right so now it is looking very huge you may afraid of it so but uh, there is nothing it's very simple i will tell that logic so always at the rate of passage clock this is the begin because i want to code multiple statements in this uh, procedural block so that's why i wrote begin for this begin this is the end last end okay right so now <coughs> here so in this block i have to tell two things what happen if i do reset what happen if i release reset that's it two parts so first i am telling reset when i re apply reset one if reset equal to one so what is my present state reset what is my next state reset suppose in this state diagram when i am in reset i will be in this state okay even when i apply reset wantedly initially i will be in the reset when i apply reset also i will come to reset okay both possibilities see here present state reset next state also reset this present state indicating now i am in the reset initially and when i apply reset also i will be in the reset so these two present state also reset next state also reset this present state indicating this arrow this next state indicating this arrow okay right reset state i named as like this now reset state so that's why reset when i reset my present state also sr next state also sr so at that time can we detect pattern so initially where we detecting pattern here we detecting here we are not detecting here not here not here not here only we detect 
so here pattern detection zero that we write divided by one s one divided by zero like that we write here you know okay All right so pattern not detected so that's why zero okay so here there are multiple statements now that's why I used begin to the first before first statement and end after last statement that's why I told you even there is one statement I told you right begin and as a safe or good programming practice what is the reason whenever multiple statements there should be a begin and so if you habituate to write a begin and then it will help to avoid the errors now every time you are writing begin and so now you also now also you are writing begin and so you are safe you can avoid errors but remember before first statement whenever whenever there are multiple statements before first statement begin after last statement end but whenever single statement before the statement after the statement you write like that okay right so here i am using pause to reset because when i doing reset when i applying one i am in the reset state means it is pause to reset okay right so here either you can simply write reset bracket close or you, you have to write reset double equal to one if you keep single equal to it will give error remember that either delete either delete double equal to one uh, either write double equal to one don't write single equal to one okay it will give error okay all right so now if i release reset else if i do reset it will happen if i release reset means else else means if i release reset what will happen functionality should happen pattern detection will start okay this part will start so this part will start remaining part will start okay right so now see here i wrote begin here i wrote begin here because in further in all states i want to make my valid one because if i want to do detect so there should be some bits uh, should come na so to tell that my bits are coming i have to make valid one so throughout this whole functionality this valid should be one so before this valid if i keep begin then this valid is applicable to all states wrote inside this that's why use it begin okay now again after this statement i used again another begin now what is this begin now this all working should happen with respect to present state so there are different cases i will write in the, in this begin and what cases how many states are there that many cases will come this uh, reset state is one case then another uh, state is another case like that so here i am writing case of present state if present state is suppose if, if i am writing like this present state case of present state then like like this if i write like this it is indicating present state is sr then present state is s1 then present state is s10 later okay it will that is the meaning okay so because of keeping begin before this uh, before this line so this case of present state is common to remaining all part that is the meaning of this begin that's why you did this begin okay case of present state right because i will start my working with respect to present state present state i am here now then when i go here this will become present state i do like that only na that's why case of present state i am starting here okay now case of present state here this is called labeling okay this is called case item case item okay as per the syntax this is called case item okay this is also called labeling okay case labeling okay so this is called case item so what is the syntax after case item we write colon okay after this colon generally what will be there St case statements will be there if there are multiple case statements we need to write begin and okay right <coughs> so this is this begin started here that begin ended here so in this begin why i wrote begin and here because this is one statement i used this is one statement this is one statement this is one statement Mul multiple statements i used na so i need begin and this uh, this block 
from here to here okay so now here what i have to tell if data equal to 1 so in the in the state diagram what i am telling here what i do i am looking for 1 if data equal to 1 if data equal to 1 if the first bit equal to 1 what will happen when i make valid when i started observation when i am in the present state that is also when i am in the sr state reset when i when i looking for pattern detection when i get bit 1 what will be my next state s1 so now i am here i started observation bits are coming i made valid one bits are coming i am in the present state case of present state when i looking for bits and when i particularly looking for one i got one so where, where i will go i will go to s2 now i am in the present state s1 nothing but to sr i will go to this state s of one okay so right now so now when I get one, I will go to S1. My present state, my present state is SR. When I get one, I will go to next state S1. Else, suppose when I looking for one, I got zero. If I get zero, I will be here only, na? My present state is S1, SR. My next state also SR only, na? So now, when I looking for one else else means when i get data zero i will be in the sr my present state is sr i will be in the sr so in this case can you detect pattern so here we cannot get pattern na? here detection now won't happen na? even you get bit one still you need to get zero zero one to detect the pattern so here pattern detection not completed so pattern detection is zero okay now let us assume you got one so if you got one where you will be s yes, one so now s yes, one become the present state now my present state become the s yes, one same you copy this 35th line from 35th to 42 you copy and paste here after this end copy 35 to okay so this uh, 35 to this one where it is 35 to detection 42 you copy here so from this line to detection okay na? all right even 43 43 and also there no 43 so you can copy from 35 to 43 so this is 35 line to this end 43 you copy paste simply so how many times you need to copy paste for s1 state one more s1 is, uh, state is there na? and third state is there na? again copy paste second type okay one double zero and one more state also there na? again copy paste okay three times you need to copy paste simple it is looking this much huge but just copy paste na? if you understand first one okay now here what we do now we are in s1 so because when i looking for one i got one so i will be in s1 when i looking when i yeah, i am in s1 it means s1 is this one s underscore one it means second state what i am looking i am looking for zero if i get zero i will go to next state so i am in s1 when i get zero i will go to next state s1 zero else i will be in the that state only na? because that is the state diagram we, we did the same in the state diagram if i don't get to second bit one second bit zero i will be in that state only i quoted so here pattern won't detect so now if i detect pattern what is my next state s10 i will go to this state so my next state will be this one so when i am in s10 if i get to third bit also i i, I want zero na? if i get zero what will be my next state s100 suppose if i get a third bit one i will go to s1 here also pattern not detected let us assume i got third bit zero so i will be in s100 in this state in this state so i am looking for last bit one if i get data bit one i will go to last state 
so pattern detected see here pattern detected one previously pattern not detected zero all places but here if I last bit to if I don't get one I will go to reset see here I will go to reset if I get pattern detected okay right so one time pattern detected again I need to detect to pattern for second time but now when a pattern detected where I am I am in last state so now again I am looking for one second time pattern if I get one I will go to yes one if I don't get one I will go to reset see here if I don't get one I am going to reset see this 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 one this arrow okay reset if I go to reset what will happen suppose if I go to yes one again this uh, process will start again from here if I get to SR see this SR again this process will go to from here where is SR where is SR this SR again start from here okay you understood like that continuation will happen until you on this pattern detector it will detect the until bits coming until on the circuit it detect the bits it detect the pattern okay All right and uh, here we wrote with case so in the case syntax we should use default if you don't use default so what is the purpose of using default you know sometimes whatever the bits coming those bits may be XRJ we need to take care of those if you don't write default what will happen so unwanted circuit design will happen okay so you need to take take care of X and Z so now all right so what will happen this state mission followed by a latch if you don't take care of this default to X and Z our design our intention is is to design only state mission not state mission followed by latch okay all right so default this is like a case item colon begin and here begin and not necessary because only one statement so when I whenever default means in other cases it is indicating whatever the states you mentioned here five states except these states default means except this state if you get any other state whatever it may be you should go to reset that is I am telling if I get other states what I mentioned here it has to ha happen according to I coded functionality except this state if I get any other state I should go to reset so that I can start again from reset state work will happen okay so now I wrote case after this now case is completed so you have to write end case okay this end is the main uh, main begin begin main end of the begin uh, this always block see here this always block begin for that begin this is the end now what is this end you know I told valid I have to make common to all for this begin that is the end and another end is there now for this begin so this begin is this end this end is this begin suppose this begin and not compulsory here according to my code compulsory but we can do another way if you remove this begin you have to tell this valid for every state for every state valid one however you telling like that so if you do like this you no need to tell for every time na? that's the benefit <coughs> okay right I hope uh, you understood the design code now we'll go to test bench code <coughs> we'll go to test bench code just a minute okay now we'll go to test bench code so I included my design file here so this is module end module this is my TB module name you know reg and wire <coughs> I explained in so many lectures this is instantiation you know now here in this uh, 
code test bench this is a sequence circuit i need to generate clock i need to generate reset i need to generate data inputs i need to tell dollar finish because of forever i am using okay na so now okay so now i taken my initial clock position 0 and uh, for a time period is 10 this is my wish i used initial block initial and forever to generate the clock okay and for dollar finish <coughs> i used separate uh, <coughs> procedural block for example i taken 6000 is the example finishing time now another procedural block to generate the inputs like uh, reset uh, even reset also i am generating and included in same block reset we can keep in separate block also reset we can keep in separate block so here reset and input generation i kept in single uh, procedural block <coughs> okay so here reset and uh, data generation valid input generation three i am doing here so initially i am using pause to reset now so initially i did reset after 20 picoseconds i released reset now inside this uh, procedural block i am using repeat see here and do with 500 iterations why i taken 20 reset example why i taken 500 iterations example okay right so in the repeat block i want to write multiple statements so i used begin end so in this initial block this is begin end in this initial block this is begin end in this initial block this is begin and this is the end and in this uh, repeat this begin this end <coughs> okay so in the repeat block at the rate of passage clock it means after 20 picoseconds whenever i get to first to pass to clockage after 20 picoseconds wherever i getting first to pass to clockage at that time i want to generate from that time onwards at that time at that time i want to generate a random data so random single bit data will assign to data okay and at that time i am making my valid also one so after 20 picoseconds it means after releasing reset in the immediate pause to clockage because at the rate of pause to clockage in the immediate pause to clockage i am making my i am generating random data and i am making my valid one then this loop ended so this should happen repeatedly this should happen repeatedly in that case what will happen because i kept this uh, statement in the repeat these statements will happen 500 times it means at every post to clockage i will get random data and my valid become one if i don't keep these three statements in my in repeat block this will happen only one time so i want to make this repeatedly that's why i kept in repeat block that's my intention okay so after 500 iterations this repeat block will end then what i am telling at the rate of passage clock after 500 iterations okay i am making my passage clock i am making my valid zero after 500 iterations in the immediately in the immediate pause to clockage i am making my valid zero if valid zero whatever data that is no matter na if no bits coming what will you look for okay valid zero because here my intention i started pattern that's why i made my valid one here i want to end my observation or pattern detection that's why i made my valid zero that's my intention okay so now ended this what this end this end is this initial block this end is this repeat block okay this is the code okay now we'll run the code in the output we can understand more better okay so just a minute i will copy the code so this is a run file you can see okay so this is my folder where i kept my this uh, okay this course this is more non overlap i'm copying my path and i am simulating in my model sim tool
cd curly bracket space curly bracket inside paste the path enter do space run dot okay so now it is executing no okay click on wave zoom it and uh, scroll this uh, to this side right side so now we'll analyze so initially what is my clock position zero okay we'll go and see is it uh, right or not see zero at every five picoseconds it, it should uh, invert that I coded see this is 0 this is 5 so here it inverted and initial position is 0 okay this is 0 picosecond this is 5 picosecond during the 0 to 5 it is low 0 now here it inverted for every 5 picosecond it is inverting okay it is co working as per the code now reset initially I did reset I kept 1c see initially my reset is 1 after 20 I release your reset see here click here see what is 20 picoseconds I release your reset it came down okay and uh, we will sc scroll away again anywhere I change your reset or not I just observe just a minute so nowhere I changed my reset it means nowhere I apply reset even in the code we can see so here I applied reset here I released reset nowhere I applied reset again okay all right this is our wish if you want you can reset anywhere again okay all right now <coughs> okay so where I am giving my data giving started giving data here 25 20 why data started 25 will check that see here where I am giving random data here in this line in this line means whenever this procedural block started executing first this will execute this will execute this will execute then it will come so to reach this uh, clock age how much time it is taking before 19 means before 20 means until this 19 from 13 to 19 it is taking 20 this 20 line taking one five five more because at the rate of passage so from 13 to 19th line it is taking 20 after 20 picosecond to get the pause to clock edge how much time we are taking we have to check so after 20 picoseconds so now this is 20 picoseconds to get the pause to clock edge we are taking 5 more seconds that's why 25 okay so now now this is this line is executing 20th line at 25 picoseconds so at 25 pico this line also 25 this line also 25 until 22 25 picoseconds takes so at 25 picoseconds I am giving uh, generating random data and I made my valid one so at 25 I made my valid one here where is my valid so this is valid see it became one okay and I am gener started generating data here data came zero why it came zero because tool generating dollar random generating 32 bit I have not given any data na dollar random generating 32 bit out of that 32 one bit taken that one bit is zero here that's the meaning tool is giving that uh, zero okay <coughs> okay if you want to one I can't help because tool is generating okay if you want you have to keep one as you wish okay right so now zero okay now next to what happened
okay so now because we kept this in uh, procedural uh, repeat block this will execute 500 times it means again at the next pause to clock each again at next pause to clock each data will generate valid become one so until 500 iterations this will become this statements will happen this uh, work will happen okay so it means to complete the repeat loop how much time it is taking so each iteration time is from here to here each iteration time is 10 and total how many iterations 500 and to get this uh, first to pause to clock each how much time it is taking 5 so to get this first to pause to clock each we are we are checking just a repeat loop time from 18 to 23 so 18 to 23 to get to first to pause to clock is 5 taken and to finish this total 500 iterations 500 each iteration taking 10 why taking each iteration i will show so this is the first clock age from this first clock age to data when it will become again random data here second iteration this is the second iteration so iteration to iteration is clock age gap 10 what is the clock age for full cycle here 10 because we taken half cycle 5 so 10 so now this repeat loop started here it taken 5 picosecond and at the next to coming pause to clock age again this random data generating so iteration time is 10 500 into 10, 10 uh, 500 iterations into 10 picoseconds for each iteration total become 5000 and the starting statement taken 5 total 5005 picoseconds is the repeat loop completion time okay and before this repeat repeat loop started we all it already consumed 20 if i added 5025 total okay so from this 13th line to this 23rd line it is taking 5025 after 5025 i am make in the in the immediate after 5025 in the immediate pause to clock age what i am doing i am making my valid zero we'll check that we'll check that just a minute go to 5025 okay all right where is 5025 right so this is 5025 at there 5025 see my valid becoming low if valid becoming low whatever uh, data that is no matter and i am not applying any reset here Okay, after 20 picosecond, I released reset, I know where I applied again reset. Okay, it means until here pattern detection will happen. Until here, until here pattern detection will happen. So until this, some random data bits are coming. One, zero, one, something random bits are coming. So in these random bits, I want one double zero one circuit is detecting that. How many times it is giving that pattern? How many times it detected? We'll check. How to check that? We have to check. I will uh, make it to uh, zoom out see here in the output whenever we getting the spikes post wedges whenever we get to uh, pattern I uh, it will become one uh, in the functionality I quoted pattern detected one so you you check uh, you count this uh, once uh, highs one two three four five six seven eight nine ten after ten after 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 33 34 35 36 37 38 39 
40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54. 54 times it detected. 54 times 1001 pattern detected. Okay, no? so this is the pattern detection. So in this code, this is a mini project. You understood so many things. See here how to use a case, how to use if else, how to use if else in the case. Generally, in the behavioral coding style, we write to if else separately, case separately. Here, see what happened in the case only used if else. Okay, this is one we understood. And we coded always to clockage and without clockage also we coded. Two things you understood. Okay. And in the test bench, one more speciality. Where is the test bench? So this block is special. We never used in previous code. So in the repeat, this, this kind of things. Okay. This kind of things also new. Okay. I hope you understood. Uh, in further lectures, I will do more and non overlap, melee overlap, and non overlap also. Okay, so design and verification of more non overlap pattern detector or sequence detector or state mission mini project completed. Okay, right.